Hello everyone, in this video we'll be checking how to update your firmware of your scaling switch. We'll be focused on the switch with the model S615. They are usually very similar, um, so the same procedure will be done in, the, in any other switch. In order to do this, you will need to access the web management page. And, and before you, for you to be able to do this, you will need to be physically connected to the switch uh, through uh, either port number one, two, three, or four. Number five is usually reserved for the wide area access network. So after connecting to one of the ports, as we mentioned, you will reach the web management page. Usually it's under the IP address of 192.168.1.1, unless you change it. In order to access, um, uh, the switch itself, you will need to give uh, the, the usual login data, which is admin admin, unless you change it, and this is the case here. So what you need to do to check your current firmware is going to information, then versions. From here, you can see your current uh, firmware that you're using on the switch, the bootloader version, and so on. So here we can see that we have 6.04. We want to update this one. So you will have to head to systems after that, and then you click on load and save load and save you have two options either you can save meaning download the current uh, firmware you have already on your device if if you want to keep that for any reason uh, you might need it later or so on but for the purpose of this video we need to update so we're going to use the load and then after con uh, con uh, uh, selecting the latest version i will also make sure to uh, add this to the description you can uh, you can select and upload it to your switch here after we select it uh, usually it takes from two to five minutes. If any error uh, occurred during the process, just you need to cancel and click on refresh down on the left and then repeat the process again. After it validates the firmware, it uh, will start to do the decryption process. And then the switch will need to be restarted and this will occur automatically. You will not even need to interface. So here it's finished and then ask us to start to restart. Yes, we want. The device is starting this. You can monitor from the LEDs on the switch. You will find that it's blinking. And yeah, that's about it. So it restarted. Now you can log in again, entering your uh, credential. Again, if you did not set anything, it's usually admin admin, but you will uh, usually need to change the password to something unique. So now let's check the version again. And it's got updated. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, kindly like and subscribe. And if you have any question or if there is any topic that you would like us to cover, just leave a comment with it. Thank you.